Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, Timon from Go Study WIU, an agency that helps international students easily transfer to Western Illinois University right here in the United States. In today's episode of Access USA Degree, we're going to be talking about five mistakes that international students usually make when applying to U.S. universities. Here's mistake number one, not understanding what is required for admissions. Some universities have very high admission standards. They would be expecting that you have very good grades in order to get into their university. While on the other hand, some universities look for well-rounded students who are versed in different things. So academics may matter to these schools, but they also look for your extracurricular activity involvement, your community involvement, and other things that you do that makes you a more well-rounded person. So be aware of exactly what that particular university is looking for. Mistake number two, preferring big brand or high ranked universities. Don't be swayed by just the name of the university. Some universities may have a really prestigious name or they may have a very good ranking, but there are other universities that offer really good programs that are way smaller and they are less known to many people. So do your research, find out what other universities are there that offer the same programs that you are interested in. And the thing is, you might end up paying less. One other major advantage of smaller universities is that it offers a more sheltered environment in case you're kind of unsure about transitioning from your international country into the US. So you might want to consider a smaller university where the transition is easier. Maybe after you get your first degree and you decide maybe to do your uh, master's degree, you can think about moving to a bigger university, something like what I did. But a smaller university is always a good way to transition into U.S. culture and get accustomed to how things are done in the U.S. Mistake number three, not giving a good first impression. A lot of universities require that you write a personal statement, most times in a graduate school, to get into their program. Remember, there's a lot of people trying to get into that particular program with limited spots. So you want to make the best impression that you can make from the beginning. And I'm pretty sure you've heard the statement, the first impression can leave a lasting impression. So you want to work on your skills, your writing skills. When you do your personal statement, you want to ensure that you, cap you capture all of the things that you've done, your achievements, and feel free to boast a little about yourself. No one's gonna look on you in a negative way if you say what you've done and you write it really well. So first impression is really important. One of the really important things about impressions that you should think about, and it doesn't matter which level you're applying, is doing your research. Now, you want to show that you've done your research on the website and you know what the school offers so that you don't ask questions that seem very obvious and the answers are right there on the website's homepage. So sometimes when I speak to people in admissions, they say some people don't even read the website so they can't get basic information. So you don't want to do that. You want to give a good impression by making sure that you've done your research and you know exactly what you're talking about. So when you ask a question, it is a question that's worth the time of people trying to file through thousands of applications. So do your research so that your questions don't seem redundant or they don't seem like you've not done so when you can simply find the answers online. Another thing that you'll want to do when creating a good first impression is to have references. As I mentioned before, you might have to write an admissions letter based on the level of the program that you're applying to. And having good references of people that um, you can rely on to give a good account of who you are is very important. So think about these things even before you apply. Who is going to be my reference? And you may need in most cases two to three references. So make sure you have those already lined up. If you enjoy the content in this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and most importantly, share my video with a friend. Mistake number four, not beginning early test preparation. Some universities require that you do standardized tests in order to get into a university's programs. So what you want to do is be sure that you know which tests are required first of all, and then do early preparation so that you can get those tests done in order to apply or to be admitted into the program. So it's on you to do your research. Mistake number five, not having a clear passion. There are many universities in the US and there are many degrees you can choose from, but knowing what you want to do and what you're passionate about 
helps you to choose the right university. So do your research and make sure it aligns with your passion. Ultimately, passion will drive success and you will be successful once you know what you really want to do. As usual, I have a bonus tip that I'm going to give. But before I do that, I want you to post your question or your comments below this video, making suggestions of what topics I should cover, or if I did not cover something clearly, I can possibly answer your question privately. And here's your bonus. Students living beyond their means. A common mistake that many students make, the perception that when you come to the US, you'll just be living it up. But you want to think about living within your means. The reason why I say this is because College is tough, and I'm pretty sure that not many people have that large cash reserve that they can always go to. So you want to plan, learn to budget, understand that you have to plan for how much you're going to spend on food, entertainment, and all these other things, but be sure to take care of your tuition and all these more important things even before you do that. So live within your means. An easy way to do so is you can find stores that sell items at a cheaper rate, or you can just find a thrift store or there's a there's many stores that you can find here that would help you to save money discount stores for example they they provide quality products but at a discounted price so as a student you need to prepare yourself if you're planning to come to the us to live within your means one advice that never fails take advantage of free stuff it's there use it sometimes you might just have to show up at a lecture for extra credit and you can get free food. Why not? You go to that lecture, you learn, then you eat free food. Do it. So those are the five mistakes I want you to avoid when applying to a university in the United States as an international student. Be sure to pay attention to those and you will be successful when you get here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.